So good morning, good morning from Geraldton. We made the trip down from um, El Benjo. Uh, a little windy. Uh, got down here in the morning and blow me down if uh, it doesn't start peeing down with rain as, as was, was expected. Got a few chores in before uh, midday and then it just hosed down most of the night. So we woke to this and thought, good, got a bit of a reprieve. We'll go for a quick walk and we'll go and have a look at uh, what's around the motor, motorhome park here. And um, this little walk's taken us down to a place called Point Moor. Uh, there's a lighthouse down here, so we'll have a quick gander at that. We have, a, I believe, an Osprey. It's a medium-sized Raptor, smaller than a white-bellied sea eagle. It's got speckled wings, barred tail, distinctive stripes. And uh, happily they're sitting up on a, on a nest that's been uh, nicely uh, prepared for them, or for her. And I'd say the way she's looking, that uh, she's probably got some young in there. Massive nest, pretty reasonable sized bird. Down at the point here at Geraldton. Here we go, a beautiful lighthouse at Point Moore in Geraldton. Look at that, it's even got a windsock there that says the name, can't miss it. She's uh, not too bad out there, the wind's died down a bit. But uh, you definitely see a lot of, uh, I guess, Point Moors out that way there somewhere. There's a fair amount of white caps. We'll go down the beach and have a look. Pointmore Lighthouse, 1878. Beautiful West Australian coastline. Pretty rugged though too. Check out those white caps breaking over the, uh, I guess it's going to be Pointmore <laughs> Reef. There's a good one out there. Continues right around over this way here. It's like a boat going out for a morning. And then further around to the right, got a couple of boats coming into port. Probably gonna, well, who knows where they could be going. But I'd say there's a port just up the way there. Grain. So since I went for my walk, on our way back, old mates come back. So they're there and you could hear them talking. Pretty cool, we've got some little chick action. What do you reckon, Jude? I think there's about, well there's definitely two, three heads. Yeah. They just stretch their leg, stretch their legs, stretch their neck and then they've gone and gone back to rest again by looks of things. Missed it.
the entrance to the HMS Sydney 2 Memorial. Pretty impressive, can be just about seen from most places around Geraldton. Thankfully the weather has subsided a little on our second day here in uh, Geraldton where we can get a nice sunny view of this memorial. I guess that's the coordinates of where the boat went down. Could be so there's your land, what's the brown, yeah. and the dark is the sea. Um, and I'll say that it's 26.14.45 south and 1112.55 east. Which puts it off of uh, Dirt Heart Hog Island or something I think it was and in about uh, two kilometres of water and it was um, I think it was discovered around about 2008 So off the uh, area where there's the memorial for the HMS Sydney too. Splendid view of the uh, port of Geraldton. Ship there getting loaded. A couple of three, four ships out there waiting. Swinging around and in behind the trees here somewhere would be the lighthouse and our uh, caravan park I think. map here of Geraldton, there we are down there in the uh, Memorial Sydney, um, probably wouldn't mind going down here and having a look at these eggs, they look interesting. Off the end dome somewhere here there's, there's meant to be a, um, a wind sculpture but I don't see that, and then up here somewhere there's meant to be a uh, horizon sculpture but that's out of action at the moment, and uh, oh, we must go and see the cathedral. Yeah, just a word of warning to caravanners or motorhomers. I just happened to take that street, it was Snowden Street, to go in up to the memorial. And uh, even though I got up and okay, the old transmission was definitely having a bit of a struggle. So uh, do choose your route wisely. Well, just go and walk about. It's been a bit of a mixed, uh, mixed days, uh, our stay here in Geraldton. You get a bit of windy, a little bit of rain, a bit of sunshine and things. So today we've got a bit of everything. <laughs> so I've had to walk down here to the, um, the uh, was it the St. Francis uh, Xavier uh, Cathedral in Geraldton. Just become a little bit of a, an addict with uh, chasing some of the architecture of the John Hawke era. So uh, it was interesting to see that one in, um, where was it, North uh, Hampton. There's one here and um, I see there's one on the uh, the way out towards Mount Magnet. So uh, I'll swing around and show you the, well, I'll show you what the day looks like here in Geraldton and then we'll gotten on a bit more to this. Cornerstone, 1870, um, of the first Catholic church built in this town uh, here in the new cathedral of St. Francis Xavier by William B. Kelly. And that was what uh, well, he was uh, the Lord and Bishop of Geraldton, the 3rd of September 
ago, you can, um, the cathedral was designed by priest and architect John Cyril Hawkes. There you go, there's the blend of weather in um, Geraldton. I think the seagulls are enjoying it. But yeah, I guess being out here on this peninsula, um, I think our motorhome park sort of straight down and amongst all that cloud. And then on one side can be quite nice, the other side can be quite stormy and buffety. They usually say it's nice in the mornings and in the afternoon she gets pretty windy. There's a parting shot. It's a massive uh, cathedral. Very big. Another beautiful, beautiful piece of old architecture. Victoria House. I think it was a hospital. Victoria Hospital. Established 1884. There we go. Geraldton Jail. So, quite a long stretch for this prison. Um, in 1864, the convict jail became a public prison. The cell block served as part of Geraldton prisons for 120 years, the longest serving prison in WA after the Fremantle prison. Having a walk around Geraldton. I happen to come across this old tree. Sure has done it tough, but they're looking after him. Got his own little cradle. And even a sign so cyclists don't knock themselves out in the process. I wonder if it's a lone pine. Back in 2005, they started reclaiming all this area here, all the way around there, because this actually used to be railway yards, okay. all the way through to Kmart Coles. Okay. So 2005, it was um, all turned up and um, all back to the public, as far as all this walking and, and cycle trails go. Cool. Geraldton Batavia Coast Marina. Pretty little marina. Kids out fishing. People coming back from their pleasure boats. It's a replica longboat. It is 10 meters long with a beam of 3 meters. It weighs approximately 4 ton. The keel is crafted from a log of Indonesian kapua found floating in Geraldton Harbour. Pivoting wings on the sides are lee boards, which were traditionally used by the Dutch to sail their shallow home waters. The longboat was a ship workhorse, primarily used for anchor handling and for obtaining water and provisions.
Oh, and of course a trip to Geraldton wouldn't be complete without a trip to the museum. Here's a interesting um, display of where we've been kind of things. There's the, the malachite, which was uh, the form, principal ore of copper. Took the uh, Northampton and then you got Galena. I wonder whether it's got something to do with the Galena Bridge in the river where we stayed. That one's got the uh, lead sulphite. So here's a really interesting fact about Geraldton. Um, it has one of the tenth largest in the world talc uh, mining. Uh, back in the 1940s, a farmer found um, some talc. Um, it's in lump talc. He leased it to a miner in 1948. Today, modern mining met methods are stracked over 150,000 tonnes of talc each year from a 60 metre deep pit. So the trains carry the lump of talc from um, Three Springs to Geraldton. Yes. And of course the other thing that we learnt, especially um, being at um, we were we um, El Benjo, um, Jock there said that uh, garnet was mined out the back there. And of course the bar garnet is used a lot in um, abrasives. So this here's got a bit of zircon and garnet and uh, quartz and stuff and it's all processed and things and used to make yeah, paints and sandpaper. So yeah, Geraldton's quite a, uh, a wealthy little mining area. There's some interesting guff here on the Point Moore Lighthouse. Um, this is the, uh, the light that was taken out of the lighthouse and replaced with an automatic one in 2009. Um, and I've learnt that the Point Moore Lighthouse is the tallest metal lighthouse in Australia. Metal lighthouse, 34 metres. Going into a little expo here of the Baptavia. It's a cannon that was brought up. I think it's one of five bronze cannons raised from the wreck of the Baptavia. Interesting, um, the large frame that you see there is actually cargo that was in the Baptavia. It was used as, um, we call it ballast, but it was cargo destined for going to build the portico of a castle in the Baptavia. Alrighty, Geraldton Museum, Tech. Awesome? Yeah, great. Yeah. Got to watch the video of the HMS. There's a 3D video of the Sydney wreck and the cormorant, I think they call it. Yeah, pretty riveting. Um, and every, everything else was just put together after we've been through a lot of the areas. Um, it's all made sense now. So, on the rest of our way, on yep. our bikes, on so our to bikes. speak. On okay. The Rubik Cube Toilets. The greatest puzzle is once you're in, how to get out. Way back in the old years, old years, there were the, a lot of these uh, jetties were destroyed by a worm that was brought in by a lot of the boats, and um, they found a uh, the, the Jarrah here in Australia was resistant to termites and uh, the worms and uh, things that destroyed them. Not really good at history in bits and pieces as you found out, but um, yeah, out from here in Geraldton, um, they built a jetty, went out 900 odd metres out towards the breakwater there. It was seven metres deep in places and it was made of Jarrah. Jarrah was um, a terrific uh, timber that didn't uh, succumb to uh, the, the critters that came off of the ships and started eating the timber. So yeah, the jarret was good for uh, termites and this particular worm or something that lived in the marine boat side of things. Anyway, the interesting fact was um, the jetty was um, destroyed and um, later torn down 
was the threat of enemy invasion. So, uh, yep, just keeps on continuing around the coast of Australia as we go by, and it, you don't realise how close it all came. Anyway, uh, and also this um, marine precinct on the coast of the Geraldton here was um, all railway yards and shunting yards and all that sort of stuff. So it's now all been freed up um, and the yards or something have moved over behind Geraldton or the, the transport of the train. So um, they've done a beautiful job here of um, um, yeah, beautifying the marine area. It's very nice. Well, here we go. All good things come to an end. So we've got to saddle up here from um, Geraldton and make our way inland again. Cool. Desert material. Dust. <laughs> Hopefully a bit warmer. Um, Geraldton's been a good stay because we've had sort of pretty much five seasons in one day. You know, we've had uh, been rainy, windy, been reasonably warm. Um, definitely felt a bit cooler since we left sort of like broom and come on down. Um, temperatures have been between sort of like uh, 10 in the morning, 14 in the morning to about um, 23, 24 I suppose. So yeah, it hasn't been all that hot. But anyway, moving inland as you heard. So um, on our way to Mount Magnet, probably be there in about three days time, maybe four days time. But uh, just enjoy now a bit of the old free camping. So uh, spot you there, next stop. <laughs>